Okay, you could start whenever. Hey everyone, we're back in the new year. It was really good for us to step away from the podcast in the same way that it's good to take a break from work every once in a while. Um, But what we didn't realize was that it was actually really nice to sit down and talk every week about just stuff that was coming up from our past and just the way we were affected by Christianity and all that. And so we didn't realize we had like this really great habit of accidental habit. Yeah, of having a conversation about like this topic, this topic, this topic, the deeper things of life and sort of thinking through them and, and kind of noticing how they were affecting us so that we could, you know, try to break free from that. And so in another way, this break was kind of hard because totally, I feel like we got really just distracted and kind of, I don't know, like it felt like really like lazy, lazy brain yeah. in a way. Something about it. And actually this leads perfectly into what we want to talk about today, um, which was prompted from this Instagram post that I found a few months ago and actually just posted yesterday on our Instagram. But the caption said, are you healed or just distracted? Um, And that's something we've been thinking a lot about in the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, I kind of just wanted to talk, like first just talk with you about kind of how you felt like these few weeks off went, like what were your expectations and... How did it actually turn out? Uh, so I was kind of just excited to like take a break to like not be like, oh, we have to like plan ideas yeah. and like, you know, record set times to record and like all of that just because we do have other things that we're doing. And so we always have to like scramble to make a like a time in our schedule to like record. And so I was like, oh, it's nice. We can just like, you know, do nothing or whatever. But of course, that never happens. And you always fill your time doing extra things that you maybe don't right. really want to do. But it was weird. I, I did really miss like talking with you and like planning out conversations to have because really what this podcast started out being is something I think like mainly like it does seem like selfishly for us just to process mm-hmm. our feelings and have conversations and see if anybody else like wanted to join in. And it's really turned into something bigger than we what we thought. And I love like processing things just yeah. through like talking about them you know, even if maybe we don't get to the bottom every single time, like every time we have a conversation, like something new pops up. And Mm -hmm. I, I love, love that. And I think that's why I love just having conversations. And even if we weren't recording, I feel like it would be so great to just sit down every once in a while and like talk and have like a really deep conversation, almost pick a topic and like, let's talk about this. Yeah. Because I think that's how, Like, I don't know, I start to have empathy for myself and compassion for myself and like see, okay, this is like maybe why I've been this way and like felt these things because this happened. And and that can happen from any kind of thing that happened in your past, not just religion. Right. But I I kind of like doing that and then thinking about, okay, now how can I move forward and how can I notice these things in the future so that I don't get dragged into these same thought processes. Right. But you like you'd never know that you'd never be aware of those things if you weren't like specifically making time to either think about them or talk about them. Yeah, or about them or exactly. Whatever. Yeah. I felt the same. Cause I, when we decided to take a break, a few week break for the podcast, I was really excited about it. And I was, my thoughts were that, um, like, this is going to be so great. We're going to take a few weeks off. We won't have to record. We won't have to really think about new topics. We won't have to, you know, do all the normal stuff that it takes to run a podcast. Mm-hmm. And I was imagining that, it would be <clears throat> just a few weeks of like deep rest and that when we came back to it, we'd feel super charged up and like full of life and like full of energy to mm-hmm. do it again and, mm-hmm. and get really pumped about it and feel like we're just bursting at the seams with like stuff to talk about, you know? Yeah. But yeah, the same as you, I think what happened in reality was that we kind of just dropped like all of the self work stuff that we had doing. Mm-hmm. I've been doing. Um, yeah. So like I d- hadn't really been meditating as much. I wasn't really reading books quite as much. I wasn't really watching like, you know, ex Christian videos and documentaries and things quite as much as we used to. Mm-hmm. And again, like the biggest part was just, we weren't really having these deep kind of conversations every week. <clears throat> and maybe that's not even true. I feel like, I mean, we, we talk all the time. We like, mm-hmm. live together and work in the same house, both work from home. We have conversations all the time. 
but I think that there really was something about uh, the podcast kind of forcing us to be regularly talking about this stuff that mm-hmm. was really helpful because after stopping all of that self like inner work stuff that I was doing and stopping the conversations, I felt really empty. I felt like I almost reverted back in some ways, you know, did you feel that too? I didn't feel I reverted back, but I felt like really, <clears throat> um, Oh, what's the word? Just numb, more numb. Yeah. I mean, it's exactly what that post like was saying that you found, like I did feel so distracted, you know, and then like realizing that, Hey, like this, there are a lot of things under the surface that I need to be like thinking about, maybe actively working on or whatever. And it's funny though, because like, I think, I think that's why we want to, like, we always want to talk about balance in our life. And this is like before when we were doing it hardcore, when we were like really like into like looking at Christian documentaries and like always watching like, like, I mean, ex-Christian stuff and, like, other religions and, like, watching things about other cults. And we got really heavy into, like, reading books and all of that. Mm-hmm. It was, like, almost too much. And that's why we wanted to take a break. Yeah. But now when we took a break completely, it was, like, also too much. That's also too much. Yeah, yeah. And I think, like, I think a big thing, I don't know if it's, I think it's for everyone, but just, like, maybe people in Christianity, because you can be so legalistic about things, is, like, you need, like, more balance yeah, in your life. Totally. Because you can't go, like, hardcore, <laughs> like try to recover, like recover yourself and like, be like so strict about like, I need to be doing all these things every single day, or I'm not going to be like, well, you know, and, but you can't also just like let yourself go on distracted every single day and try to turn off the pain or like numb yourself in a way. I mean, like both, I think are just so are too radical, like methods of, of coping. Right. And I, I think like we've experienced both and I didn't like either. Um, (laughs) And I I think like we've been talking about lately, like how can we bring more balance into this aspect of our life and like how, you know, how can it be like a little bit more chill? And so we can just kind of live Mm -hmm. in a way, but also be living in a way that like we really mean it. And we're really trying to like, I don't want to say intentional. So you're like fully engaged in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Fully engaged. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was kind of funny before we took the break, I was feeling like, oh yeah, I'm like basically healed from this. You know, I don't know if you guys can probably tell, uh, just by listening through all of our episodes, but like we've gone through a radical transformation from the time we put out our first episode being super scared. Yeah. We were really scared. So scared. Super scared of everything and all of that to this point. Like I feel like we've come a super long ways, you know, And, Mm -hmm. and that's true. But what I, I, I kind of think I was maybe overestimating how healed I was, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, before taking yeah. a break uh-huh. and then I'd like cut out all of the support systems and like the, the support supporting habits that I had built up over the last few months. I just cut them all out. I real realized like, whoa, um, there's still like a lot of stuff there. Yeah. You know, like there's still a lot of work to be done. I don't even like to call it work. Cause it's, I mean, it's like, it's just me living with myself. It's not like work, but like, I'm not, I'm not as like healed as I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think Which is, it, that was sorry. <laughs> discouraging in a way, but in another way, it like makes total sense. You know, what, what did I expect? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like you and I have really, like we have really high goals of how we want our life to be like. Mm-hmm. And I think like that kind of plays a part. Like I would say that you and I have always wanted to, improve like constantly and maybe like we kind of work ourselves to death like we want to improve like our minds more you know Mm -hmm. like our our like and how we think and like can we be thinking better like can we be more open to this so like can we like can we like get this habit that we don't like that we do can we get rid of it or like can Mm -hmm. we like make sure that we're living more fulfilled life like whatever can we gain a wider perspective what yeah Yeah, and i think like that when that's our goal, like we kind of get obsessed with like, Oh, how many books can we read? And like, how many like documentaries can we watch about this one thing? And like, Oh, we get obsessed with this like new, I don't know, like this new idea. And then we're like, we want to learn everything we can about it because we just want to add it to our repertoire, repertoire. And then like add the next thing, Yeah, you know? Uh And I feel like maybe not everybody is like that, but I don't know. I am. Yeah, I know. (laughs) I, I like you mentioned it earlier, but I was that way in Christianity big time, like super legalistic about, uh, being really consistent 
constantly reading the Bible and like super disciplined about my prayer life. Mm -hmm. And like, I would be really down on myself if I missed Mm -hmm. a couple days of Bible reading or something. And I think in, in some ways that's like a good quality to be really disciplined yeah. and be really focused on what you want to do. But as a Christian, I was like way over the line legalistic mm-hmm. and that ended up causing me to feel like lots of shame and tons of guilt. Like if I wouldn't read my Bible in the morning, I felt like I was a bad person. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. Like that's so now it's obvious that that's like so counterproductive. Mm-hmm. But I do think that a lot of people kind of have that feeling like there's always a little bit of a low level of guilt in Christianity that you're like, not, not doing really, enough. Yeah, you're not doing enough. Like your quiet times aren't sacred enough, or they're not long enough, or you don't read the Bible that much. And you know that good Christians always read their Bible. Mm-hmm. And you like maybe you don't pray every single day. But like good Christians always do. So you kind of I don't know, I had that feeling like built deeply in me that if Mm -hmm. I wasn't constantly like doing something to better myself Mm -hmm. or constantly doing something to get closer to God or, you know, now today, if I'm not constantly like meditating or reading new books or whatever, I tend to feel bad about myself. Like it Mm -hmm. takes my self-esteem when I'm not like actively trying to improve. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of, that's weird. It, it goes negative. You know, that's, it is a positive thing, obviously, to do all this stuff. But if you are thinking about it in that legalistic, like, yeah. like too much of a black and white way, it goes really negative. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I had been sensing that with us a little bit with recovering from Christianity. Like you were saying, too, like we had been almost spending too much time with our head, like buried in all this uh, post-Christian material. And obviously, we're running the podcast. So we're constantly talking about Christianity and leaving Christianity and all that. And I was feeling like, man, we got to just like drop that for a little while. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think there's a lot of value in that, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. It's a it's a hard balance, because I, I do really feel like there's a lot of value in being totally focused on recovering from your trauma, recovering from your past. Um, Again, we're not like therapists. So if we're saying something wrong about trauma, then drop it. But from my, uh, from my perspective, there's something really valuable about kind of taking a break from like all the internal psychological work that we're constantly trying to do to recover from trauma and just like live for a little bit, Mm -hmm. you know? I no, you're totally right. I think like, even I'm sure so many people like can feel that as well, that you know, you kind of learn in Christianity, like how to be like an improver because you're always, because there is always something you can do. And I'm sure that's why we like to grow. I'm sure that's why we like growing. I'm sure it's a big part of it. And I think like I was also legalistic. I'm sure everybody can agree that there's so much guilt there when you don't do enough, when you like, but it's impossible. It's impossible to to not have that guilt feeling because there's always something more you can do. And I feel like it's you like you're in danger of bringing that into your life now. And that's what we, we find ourselves doing like either way it swings, like, like, Oh, we should take a break from this. But then it's like the guilt is there and Mm -hmm. like, Oh, we like, you know, we're like going hardcore into like really recovering. And then like the guilt is there. Could we be doing more or like, are we like too far into it? And I think like we're so focused on extremes or like black yeah. and white <laughs> thinking of like, Oh, you should do this. No, actually this is the opposite that you need to do. And, yeah. and all of that, I think I'm sure like other people like struggle with this as well, but I think coming from Christianity, it's probably like a really big theme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Black it's black and white thinking mm-hmm. just like everything else that we've been talking about kind yeah. of falls into that black and white thinking model. Um, so I would really like to, obviously we're starting the podcast up again. I want to keep this going and I want to feel good about it and I don't want to get burned out. And so, uh, do you feel like there is anything that we can do to try to like strike a better balance this year? Like as we move forward into this? Well, I think that we already did a good thing in going hardcore one way and hardcore the other. Yeah, you're probably and right. I always learn best from doing that little mess up. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I really do because you really know, you really test your limits and stuff. And I think that I, w- I want like, I want to just like maybe keep the reminder in my head. Like maybe this year I can like have a theme. I think last year my theme was be a little lighter Yeah, and this year, like my theme could be balance and just kind of think like, am I getting, getting too hardcore into something like maybe like 
ease back or yeah. just remember to like give myself time for whatever that like getting back to the middle. Yeah. And, and so, you know, maybe not going so deep on the Reddit threads about ex Christian <laughs> or um maybe, but, but still taking time to like read a good book, not necessarily about like Christianity or whatever, but like about something, you know, self help Yeah. or I think like, and then not feeling bad if I don't read it, mm -hmm. but not taking, not being like, I need a break from like everything. I'm not going to take a break from like every single like supporting thing that was helping me. Like I'm either going to, I'm going to maybe choose one, like maybe I'll only meditate. And then if I decide to read, that's fine. Yeah. But like yeah. choose something to like stay on track, but then like, I don't know, not try to do it all. Right. Because then you like obviously get burnt out and then you're like, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. And then it defeats the purpose of all of it anyways. Is that what the question you were asking? Yeah. Totally. Okay. No, that's what I'm, I haven't, we haven't talked about that at all until right now. Also, um, I think this year, um, I want to, uh, do more therapy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd like to, so I'm going to start looking into how to get a therapist that might be like right for me and like what I want to talk about. And I think not only religion, but I want to talk about a lot of other things mm. just, and I think that. I know that therapy is like so good, but I'm starting to like really think it might be really, really good. <laughs> just like, I'm just starting to think that I'm ready to take that next step. <clears throat> I think that you as a person, an individual just kind of need to decide, yeah, I, you know, something is good for you, but you also need to be like, yeah, I'm ready to, to do that, oh, yeah. to look into uh -huh. it. And I think I've like looked around enough to kind of know what sort of therapist or person I most resonate with and I feel most helped by. Mm -hmm. And it, because like, we've just, I don't know, just, we've been like in the world of like self-help just like, and kind of like watching people and like what they say and what's helpful and like what, what really like, you know, I guess helps me grow. Yeah. And so I feel like I'm ready this year to maybe look into that. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get into that more. Um, I, I know I've, obviously, you know, Katie, but for everyone listening, I started working with a personal development coach, um, a few months ago. And that was the first time I had ever done any kind of like th therapy or it's not therapy because it's just coaching, but it was the first time I'd ever like worked with someone else one-on-one -on -one to help me work through some of this stuff and to help me like basically become the person I want to be. And I found that so helpful like super, super, super helpful. And so I think, yeah, my eyes have been really opened to the value of like bringing someone else with a wider, like better, more trained perspective into your life to kind of help you work through some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I think actually by doing that, that probably would help us to strike a lot better balance um, in this recovery process as well. Cause I think when you're doing it by yourself, like it's, it's just hard to know what to do. And it's, that question we asked at the beginning, are you healed? Or are you just distracted? It's really hard to answer that question for yourself sometimes too. Because mm -hmm. like I said, I thought I was healed, um, mm -hmm. but I realized like I'm not healed. I'm just kind of distracted from some of the deeper stuff within me. Yeah. I think um, we noticed that like we are healing from other areas, but like once that's kind of done and put away, like something else will come to surface. Yeah. And I feel like that's so common yeah. and just healing from things in general that's like the game of life i think there's yeah. going to be a point where we're like okay i'm finished i never need to read any <laughs> self-help i never need to improve i'm finished I don't need the therapist i'm finished that was like my dream as a christian what no is that? what sanctification sanctification I sanctified yeah but yeah so i had the idea that it could be perfect but i i don't think that exists joe and only in okay. heaven oh yeah that's right <laughs> only in heaven can we have that um but no i love that katie i think like this year will be uh, really good for us in that sense, because we did really kind of try out both extremes. Um, and I think like just being a little bit lighter about it and trying to be more balanced about it and trying to give ourselves more grace and ability to kind of fluidly float back and forth between like intense therapy mm -hmm. times and just like rest, relaxing, mm -hmm. chill out, veg out times. Yeah. yeah. Because unlike the Christianity that we used to subscribe to, there is actually an enough. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, like I was just thinking, like, I've heard people talk like you're talking within like Bible studies and stuff and being like, you should give yourself more grace and stuff. But like, then there was this other message of like, but you never can do enough. Yeah. But like, really, there isn't that anymore. So right. there actually is like, you can actually give yourself grace. Yeah. And you act if you mess up, like it actually doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Oh my god. At all. Yeah. You're right. You're right. That's such so free. Yeah. And not even messing up, but like or just like, oh man, I forgot to read my book. Yeah. Who if, cares? <laughs> if you feel like what's best for you is not reading any books and not like thinking about your trauma for a week. Sleeping in and watching YouTube videos. Oh, great. That's wonderful. And you can do it without any guilt. <laughs> but when you were a Christian, you couldn't just stop reading your Bible and stop praying. Like that was the worst, you know? There no, was, because there's only rest in him. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. So all that being said, uh, yeah, I think finding balance is going to be a key for us this year. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So what does this season, is this a season? What does this season of the podcast look like? So I'm super excited about, yeah. Is it a season? (laughs) It is. Uh, did you think I was talking about Christianity seasons? (laughs) Okay. I I don't making a joke about that. Well, I I can, if you want, but like, I mean, just like a season, (laughs) like an app, like for, in terms of like a show, Yeah, new season of the podcast, we're back and we're doing some new episodes. We have new ideas. We're going to be, uh, I think interviewing a lot more people, Mm -hmm. um, uh, with a bunch of just our own episodes interspersed in there. Actually, next week we're going to be airing a, another interview with two therapists, and they're going to talk about how to find a good therapist and the value of therapy and stuff like that. So um, I think that would be super beneficial mm-hmm. to listen to. It was really beneficial for us to talk to them. So, yeah, I'm excited to put that out. But, yeah, I want to have, like, personal development coaches come on to talk about stuff like getting over people-pleasing and I want people to come on who are experts in sex and who can talk about like building a great sex life. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. So we have a lot of ideas. And you know what um, I want to talk about? What? I want to read the Bible to everyone. Yes. And Katie wants to read the Bible and we want to go through some Bible stories and just like dissect and, and talk about them. And because really that's my favorite part. That is your favorite part. I really like looking at what I used to believe and being like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. We need a few more of those. I like, I like having a few little jokes uh-huh. too. Yeah. Of some course. seriousness and some jokes because guess what this is all about balance you're right you're not going to be and we're not going to be serious all the time but we're not going to laugh at everything all the time Mm-mm. wait did i just say the same thing i did you did but okay you know what knows. i mean yeah everyone knows what you mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's going to be a season of balance we'll have a mix of everything mm-hmm. i think it's going to be really helpful um for us and really helpful to everyone who's listening as well we're super excited about it yeah we are So thanks so much for letting us take a break and we're so glad to be back and we will see you next week.